At the BC Health Coalition, our role is to bring together a broad cross-section of civil society to fight for public solutions to healthcare issues. We have a strong history of defending our public healthcare laws in court, advancing public solutions around wait times and primary care reform, and fighting for improvements in seniors' care. The march was organized by the Asiatic Exclusion League. And unfortunately, there were members of organized labor who were taking part in this. And so as as labor activists, we kind of have a historic mandate to end the drug war because we did, sadly, play a small part in its um, beginning. You have to look at recruitment and retention of healthcare workers, increasing training spaces, um, and um, I think also considering how uh, healthcare is delivered in the community is really important. There's increases in the use of for-profit clinics, and so you have public funds going into the pockets of private investors. Human rights approach also means that we move away from corporations extracting profits from seniors' care. It's it's old austerity-driven thinking that tells us that we can only afford to take care of people if we incentivize the private sector to do it for us. Sheila Moyer, and I'm here on behalf of the BC Federation of Labour, and we represent uh, over 500,000 members of our affiliated unions. My, my name is Scott DeLong. I'm here on behalf of the BC General Employees Union, and we represent about 85,000 members. My question is, Minister Dix. Minister Dix, my question to you is, so my question to you, Minister Dix, is... Minister Dix, I end my story by asking you this question. Public health advocates say the growth in private surgical clinics does hurt the system in the long run. Because you're actually moving those resources, namely um, people, um, specialized healthcare professionals um, from uh, public hospitals, because you're you're trying to outcompete and and pay them for shifts in in for-profit clinics. We are all extremely thrilled that the appeal was dismissed. Um, I think this is a real win for public health care. On Friday, the British Columbia Court of Appeal unanimously upheld a lower court's dismissal of Day's challenge of the Medicare Protection Act, saying bans on extra billings and private insurance do not violate the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom.